So Yast is getting a lot of shit. I'm kind of sick of it. It's a powerful tool if you know how to use it. And more importantly, when to use it. First off, we've got our software repositories. This is wonderful. Please don't remove this tool. You can hit add, community repository, and here you can add your NVIDIA driver repository, your Pac-Man repository, which if you don't know is incredibly useful. I've added it through other means, so it doesn't show up here, but you can absolutely add it through here. I wouldn't say it's ugly or bad. Another time to use YAS is if you want to install patterns or search for patterns. So software management. You can search for packages in here, but uh, I mean, that's a good way to find like one off packages, but not big packages like Mate. If you want that, go, go to view patterns. Once you're in here, you can go ahead and just select which uh, desktop environments you want. So if I wanted to install KDE Plasma 5, I would select this. And it would go ahead and select a shitload of packages for me. Then I go to accept and I'm done. Or, of course, you can do the one-off by going to search and then let's say I wanted to install his on top of everything, <laughs> which I've clearly already done. But uh, yeah, you can just select things in here. It's oddly reminiscent of the Synaptic Package Manager back in the Ubuntu days. So honestly, I can't give it any shit. This is a very robust graphical interface to your repositories. However, I just use Zipper most of the time. Another really useful tool is the bootloader. Um, this works really well in a true root if you break your system. And in fact, I would definitely not recommend taking this out of the system. It's a powerful tool that I wish Red Hat would have something like rather than just a command line install grub, which works most of the time, but this will regenerate all the config files for me, as well as install grub. So if I've, I have a broken grub, I would chew root my system, come into here, and uh, just just hit OK, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to configure my bootloader for me. That's beautiful. That's useful. It also has an OK partitioner. Um, it's like the installer partitioner. It'll get the job done, but uh, Gparted's better. The sysconfig editor might be a little bit weird if you're not used to SUSE, but it is actually really useful. So yast sysconfig, this is where you can change things like your display manager, your window manager. Let's see what I'm using, LightDM, okay. At the end of the day, it's just an easy way to set up your config for SUSE. Another time that this can be useful is if you want to set up a file share. I mean, you, you can do that uh, with config files. And yes, it will overwrite config files if you configure it manually and then try to use YAST. That would be a bad plan. But hey, it makes things simple if you don't want to dick around in a config file forever. So a lot of people say it's ugly. That's kind of true. Um, it's really ugly in a terminal. But what NCurses application isn't a little ugly? So when you first open YAST in a terminal, this is what you're greeted with. It's actually pretty easy to navigate, and you can do all the same things you can do with the graphical version with the NCurses version. So arrow keys to navigate, uh, tab to switch between areas, shift tab to go the opposite direction to, to any area. So this goes backward, shift tab goes backwards, tab goes forwards, backwards, forwards. And it all just loops around. So tab to the area you want, then select down to whatever. Let's say I want to do some software management. I go to software management, software management. All right, from here, if I wanted to go to patterns, I would hit shift tab, and that takes me to the filter. 
down arrow lets me select in this menu, and I just simply arrow up to patterns, enter, and then I select whatever I want. If I wanted to install Enlightenment, I could. I just hit enter on that. And, that, and then I could hit tab a bunch of times all the way to accept and hit enter. That's valid. Um, but notice that some of the menu items have a yellow letter, like this one and this one this one. If you hold down the Alt key and then press whatever key is in yellow, it will trigger that. So Alt A auto selects the accept. And then if I do Alt O, it auto selects OK. But I don't want to, so I'm going to Alt C this. And then Alt C again. And then Alt Y. So as you can see, it's actually pretty intuitive and easy once you know what you're doing. When not to use Yast? Well, honestly, Yast will get in the way more often than not if you're just installing simple things. So if you can get away with just using Zipper on the command line, you should. If you really want to probe around your repositories or if you want to add a community repository or install an application that's part of a larger package group, then Yast is definitely the thing you're going to want to use. And if you're on Red Hat, have fun. Thanks for watching.